Fights had just four fights since 2013, but still a lot of respect on the name Gavin Tucker, and rightfully so. He is 10 and 1. Last time we were here in this building, he got dominated by Rick Glenn. That third round, I believe, was a 10-7. And Tucker says he's made a lot of personal and professional strides and dealt with some injuries. He gets back on the horse here tonight. Look, Gavin got a hold of that leg. And nice takedown. But Troy really trying to explode back up to his feet. Oh, left hand over the top by Tucker. This is not the game that Troy wants to get in with Gavin. And now Gavin's got the back. Both hooks in, but he's on, he's sideways on it. Oh, he's got it flattened out. Outstanding. Arm under the chin. This could be it. This could be it. He switches arms. Oh, he's deep under the net. That's it. Gavin Tucker by submission. Beautiful job by Gavin Tucker. Absolutely beautiful. But look at how they flattened him out here. He was trying for the choke with the right arm. Couldn't get it. And then in the defense, found the opening to the left, and there it is. Sinks it in perfectly and gets the tap. Outstanding job by Gavin Tucker. Kevin Holland was definitely happy to get a call from the UFC so he could start preparing for tonight's fight because things were getting a little boring at home in Fort Worth, Texas. The second degree black belt in Kung Fu was doing a lot of practicing of his forms at home, but with a sword and caused quite a bit of damage around the house, including cutting up his ceiling fan. So now he could get in the gym in order to best prepare for this one. And he told us this week he actually loves talking when he's inside the octagon. It helps calm him, so we might get to eat drop on him tonight. Kevin Holland here looking fast, looking good. Holland started out with a big one-two and Hernandez didn't have very good things to say about the boxing of Kevin Holland. Thought he kind of lunged in, but a nice elbow there as they come to close. Oh, oh, that knee. Oh, 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 knee. This is it. Hernandez coming up. Wow. 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 Blazer Holland. Wow. First round knockout. Wow. It was the knee to the midsection. Took the wind out of him. No question, the biggest performance of his career, and it did not take very long. No long at all. I mean, I think I'm just going to try and stay healthy, try and stay close to weight, and uh, see if something else can line up. I mean, I, I want to fight, you know? I mean, I haven't fought since May. I mean, before I got in the UFC, I was used to fighting almost every other month, every month. So it's like, I, I really like to fight. I like, I really, really like to fight. I don't know how else to put it. Right now, I'm just kind of like devastated. I like to fight. <laughs> I don't know if Marcus Perez already went home yet. I don't know if Ed Herman already hopped on the flight to go home. I mean, line them both up. I mean, line something up, bro. I mean, tonight, let's go. All right, so here is the 23-year-old, the Moroccan devil, Yusuf Zalal. Born in Morocco, now trains out of Englewood, Colorado. 11th youngest fighter on the roster at present. Nice mix of skills. He's got a jiu-jitsu purple belt that he can lean on. Five career wins by submission, but no denying the power and the versatility on the feet as well. Nice oh. shot, that hurt. He felt that one. Sort of a desperation shot there by Griffin. Oh, nice jab, yeah. Well, and Zalal this week acknowledged UFC featherweight contender Dan Ige, who beat Jordan Griffin earlier in his career. He said, Ige wasn't able to get Griffin out of there if I can do that. Jordan's doing the same thing pretty much every round. You know, he has these punching charges, nice head kick attempt, and a good combination. But he's got to do more than that. He, he rushes across from the octagon, throws the combination, finishes with the head kick, and then kind of resets. But look at this. There we go. Wow. Big shots. And I think after this takedown attempt, we're going to see Griffin slow down a lot. Zalal's going to be looking to keep piecing it up. Yo, Griffin did the right thing there. He spread the legs almost like he was doing a split. And when you do that, it separates the hand grip. Beautiful knee again. The knees are so deadly from this guy. Again, now an elbow from Zalal. I mean, if I'm Zalal, I'm trying to finish this, this fight on my feet going crazy. All right, competitive 15 minutes turned in by Yusuf Zalal and Jordan Griffin. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Yusuf the Moroccan Devil Zalal.